Welcome fans to 2K Sports Tuesday night presentation of NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls facing the Golden State Warriors. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. They've got Dennis Rodman. Harper is out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Longley. And it's Pippen in at the small forward position. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. And here is Curry. No good on the triple. Harper against Barnes. Harper dishes to Jordan. He feeds it to Pippen. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. First person Contact doesn't phase Pippen. Still able to get that one to go. And he's got his first chance at the line here. On the free throw, no good. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless score. And here are the Warriors now. Four-point game. Thompson surveying the floor. On the wing, Barnes. Outside Curry, five to shoot. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Pass to Longley. Rodman with the ball. Pippen dishes to Rodman. Back to Pippen. The shot missing. The Warriors go the other way. Outside Curry. Not going to fall. Starting off slow, he misses his first three from the floor. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. I was able to talk with Phil Jackson for just a minute. This is the first meeting of these two teams, so he didn't know exactly what to expect. But he does know that he wants his guys to attack offensively. He feels their success on that end will dictate their success through the game. So, guys, we can expect them to be aggressive from early on. Appreciate that, David. Interesting report there, uh, GA. The team focused on what it can do offensively. Bottom line, in this league, you have to score points. Sounds like they have a plan. I think, obviously, they're hoping to establish the pace early. They're so much more efficient when they're able to get to their tempo game. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Back to Green, and it's Green with the jam. Boy, you'd love to see the lift Draymond Green gets on these dunks. Once he's established, forget about it. Pippen outside. To the paint. And then Rodman with the dunk. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Up top, Curry. He's guarded by Harper. Curry passes to Green. Here's Iguodala. Shot clock at six. And the slam dunk by Iguodala. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Leandro Barbosa is checked in for Harrison Barnes. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. 
Kukoc, he's checked in for Scotty Pippen. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. One thirty seven left here in the opening quarter. It's Jordan on the wing, covered by Barbosa. Unloads from 13. Misses off the left iron. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Curry picks to Barbosa. Pass to Igudala. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Green. It's good. This game is all even. Green's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Draymond is smart at knowing when to shoot the ball, especially when he's got strong position inside. Back to Jordan. Passes to Curl. And Draymond Green picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And the Warriors making a change here. Livingston's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Bushler's checked in. Forty-four seconds left to play here in the first. Simpkins passes to Kukoc. Shot clock at five. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Gets it to go. That one good from Kerr. This shows how confident Kerr is. Knows how dangerous he can be off the catch. Now here's Livingston. Defended by Kerr. Igudala. Wide open. They get it back. And Green is right there. Well, Draymond Green gives up size at his position on a nightly basis, but how impressive is his ability to take it off the window and convert? Kerr with it, and there's the pass to Kukoc. That's good, and so Kerr with the assist. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. In Chicago, they're up by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you can see. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Bulls. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing running smart plays and just setting guys up for success and they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight really putting the work in down low so with curry sitting on the bench here's the group that steve kerr has on the floor harrison barnes is out there with igudala then there's Draymond green and there's livingston and it's thompson in at the two guard position now here's thompson Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Got a Clay Thompson. You can't let him get cooking from three. Boy, this guy's too accurate as a shooter. Here's Pippen. Outside, Kukoc. To the inside. Here's Longley. And the Bulls tack on two more. You know, it seemed to me they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. Pass to Thompson. From deep three-point range. It's all in by the Bulls. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now, here's Pippen. His agility makes Pippen so dangerous inside. He can create contact while also being able to get the shot off. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Back the line for two.
free throw good from Pippen. Stephen Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Chicago also making some changes. Michael Jordan is checked in for Kukoc. And it's Harper in for Kerr. And he makes both free throws. Warriors trail by three. Now Kerr. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Thompson way outside. And it's Thompson again missing. And so Jordan will bring it up for Chicago. Pass to Longley. Fade away. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Barnes finds Curry beyond the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Curry's got the game tied up here for the Warriors the greatest shooter ever and in fact in my estimation the greatest three-point shooter in history Stephen Curry passes it to Jordan from 17 feet out Raymond Green grabs the miss there's the dish to Curry Green kicks to Livingston and out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession So here is Chicago. Hey, yo, yo. Right here, right here. Outside Harper. The pass to Pippen. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Pippen's got nine. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He knows he just needs the ball, and then he is good to go. Down low. It's stolen by Rodman. Jordan looking around. He kicks it to Harper. Dishes to Pippen. Pocket six. Left side, Jordan. Shoots over Livingston. Got a piece of it. Harper against Kirk. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Now, here's Livingston. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. It's Curry. That time on the assist by Livingston. Curry's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Warriors. Curry's gone two of five from beyond the arc so far. Harper the pass to Jordan. Rodman sets a screen. Three-pointer. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. comes in for Thompson and it's Barbosa in for Sean Livingston so Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here Wennington he's checked in for Longley Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman Kukoc he's checked in for Scotty Pippen and Kerr subbed in for Ron Harper Fifty nine seconds left in the second quarter. Fifty five seconds left in the first half. Back to Igudala. Six to shoot. They kick it out to Green. Takes the three. Chicago grabs the miss. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Jordan, the pass to Kukoc. Here's Simpkins. 
They get a hand on it. Curry with the steal. For a three, Barbosa. No good on the last second attempt there. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bulls lead by three. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at Scottie Pippen, he's really been playing well. He just loved the patience in that first half, waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So for Chicago right now, Longley out there with Dennis Rodman, then it's Pippen, and it's Michael Jordan, and it's Harper in at the point. Curry shot is off. The Bulls leading by three. Here's Harper. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Thompson against Jordan. And Pippen with the basket. The assist from Michael Jordan. Pippen's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. And so Curry will bring it up for Golden State. Pass to Iguodala. Thompson sets the pick for Iguodala. Over in the corner, Green. And they get it back. A shot off that time. Jordan down low. He's covered by Thompson. Jordan's shot is off. Jordan's gone just one of five from the field. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Pass to Green. Tipped away. And stolen by Jordan. Shot's good by Pippen. And it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. The shot by Curry, no good. Curry's gone just two for eight from the field. Right there at 25%. Inside, here's Longley. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. Longley's got his second basket of the game. Longley's gone two for four so far here tonight. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrich. Thanks, guys. Now we see more and more top prospects bypass college or even leave high school early to make six figures playing for G League Ignite. For many years, going pro at such a young age was something we only saw abroad, but that reality is now here. Kevin? I like it too, David. The landscape is shifting, and I think for the better. Thank you for the report. Feeds it to Curry. Second shot opportunity. Green, no luck. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Harper against Barnes. The shot's good from Jordan. Jordan. Jordan's got five. A yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Timeout called the Warriors. Leandro Barbosa, he's checked in for Barnes. Chicago also making some changes. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Kukoc comes in for Michael Jordan. And Kerr is subbed in for Harper.
Warriors trail by 11. And here is Barbosa. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Iguodala. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Pippen with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Pippen feeling it out a bit. Two coach pass to Rodman. Here's Wennington, guarded by Curry. Wennington with the bucket. Wennington's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls. Curry outside, sinks the triple. Curry's got nine. Steph Curry's ability to shoot the basketball off the dribble may be as special as we've ever seen in the history of the league. There's the pick. Pippen is doubled. Kerr outside. Rodman in the post. Curry meets him. Kukoc kicks to Kerr. Five on the clock. Goes back up. Gets it to go. That one good from Wennington. Wennington's got four points this quarter. And you can tell Kerr has a good sense for the floor, which helps him find a ready shooter to deliver the ball to. Thompson for three. Scotty Pippen grabs the miss. Pippen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. Rodman with a screen on Thompson. With some art, and it's laid in by Rodman. Rodman's got his second basket. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game. Curry shot is off. The Bulls leading by 14. Kukoc dishes to Pippen. shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Leandro Barbosa. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Both free throws good for Pippen. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. Back right after this. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. We've got Barnes. Thompson is out there with Curry. And there's Iguodala. And it's Green in at the five. Roman the paint. That's the Warriors' five. Now here's Kukoc. Over to the left wing. Bushler, the pass to Simpkins. Here's Bushler. Let's it go with a three. Green with the rebound. Green's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The drive by Iguodala. Barnes outside. Off target from three-point range. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. To 
to the middle. It's stolen by Green. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Kerr against Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Green with a screen for Thompson. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And it's Green missing. Bulls leading by 16. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Two coach pass to Kerr. There's Simpkins. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Bulls? And they're playing beautiful basketball right now. Racking up the assist by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. I think the other thing they've done exceptionally well tonight is shoot the mid-range and take advantage of those opportunities. Anytime they're given a look, they have delivered. The first free throw is good. So for the Bulls. Rodman comes in for Bushler. And it's Harper in for Kerr. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. And so Green will bring it up for Golden State. They've only given up one point in the fourth quarter. On its way from Curry for two. Misses off the right iron. The Bulls leading by 17. Here's Jordan. Good D by Thompson. Outside, Green. Banked in off the glass. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Kukoc gets the bucket. Agile move there by Kukoc against the contact, navigating the defense to find that finish. Timeout called the Warriors. present our New Balance player of the game, Scotty Pippen. Yeah, and his percentage from the field tonight, just amazing. He hadn't just been gunning. He, he's been picking his spots, and, and you need that kind of patience and discipline to shoot as well as he had. And now we can see that when he's at his best, they are a very dangerous team. Going up against the defending champs and getting the job done. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Floats it up for Igudawa. Ku coach with it. Rodman with a screen on Barnes. Ku coach gets the bucket. And the Bulls lead by 17. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Harper against Curry. Right side, Harper. Just his first attempt. And that's off the glass and in. Harper's got his first points of the game. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. Green with a screen on Harper. Here's Curry. It's deflected. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Ku coach passed to Longley. Over Igudala. Longley can't get it to go. Warriors trail by 16. Now Curry. Thompson outside. From deep. 
Rebounded by Rodman. Thompson's gone just two of six shooting, 33%. Outside, Rodman. Who coach against Barnes? Kicks it out to Rodman. Six on the shot clock. Harper with a screen on Thompson. Short. That is good off the back rim and in. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Rodman with a screen on Barnes. Shoots from the right block. Kukoc can't get it to go. Now, here's Thompson. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.